than 100 people spent the night camped out in tents at McDonald's Oak Brook headquarters. Right, they're trying to send a message to shareholders that they want $15 an hour. And we find CBS 2's Lauren Victory outside the Oak Brook headquarters as well. And she has more on their Good message. Good morning, Lionel Roseanne. Campers are waking up, drying out, and breaking down their tents here at this McDonald's headquarters, this overnight camp out. It's intended as a physical display of McDonald's workers' frustrations to shareholders who are, who are meeting around the corner today. These upset employees want the public to know as well that they feel they aren't getting a fair wage. Now, that meant a huge demonstration downtown yesterday. Thousands of McDonald's employees walked off the job and onto the strike line. They disrupted the lunch hour at the Rock and Roll McDonald's on Clark Street. The workers say their current $10 an hour pay doesn't cut it. In Chicago. Meanwhile, the CEO of McDonald's recently hinted at cutting costs by replacing workers with robots. CBS 2 asked protesters if that will affect their actions. They can't make your day like I do for my customers that come to my store every morning. So I'm not I'm not scared or frightened by robots. That doesn't intimidate me. Even so, McDonald's workers are also asking for union membership to protect those jobs in wake of technology advances. Now back out here live, we have a crowd gathering at the end of the street here. What they're doing is preparing to walk to where the shareholders meeting is around the corner. They'll have a rally and then a march, all uh, expected in the next few minutes here. And we'll bring you more on that later on the CBS Chicago News. Reporting live in Oak Brook, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS2. Lionel Roseanne. Pretty big turnout there this morning. All right, Lauren, thank you.